Doncic. Down to three seconds. Two seconds. Doncic for the win. Oh, yeah! Luka Doncic! The dagger! <laughs> Incredible, Bird. Who can forget Luka hitting two clutch threes in the final 16 seconds to help beat the Boston Celtics? Round two coming up Wednesday, but first, here's Luka's reaction to the win tonight in OKC. question for you, but you had talked a couple weeks at All-Star Weekend about not knowing a lot about Top Shot, but being interested in learning about it. I'm curious if you've gotten a chance to look into that and see how your moments and your highlights are doing. Uh, not yet, but Mark keeps texting me that I got to register, so uh, I'll do it soon. All right, we'll go to Kevin Gray. Kevin? Hey, look, at 30 assists tonight on 51 made field goals. How did you feel about the team sharing the basketball tonight and the energy moving the basketball on the offensive end? Uh, yeah, I think it was great. Uh, we came, I think uh, the second half was way better, you know. Uh, but I think we shared the ball great. Uh, we played great basketball and we played good defense. All right, Davide. Hi, Luca. Uh, my question is about Manly. You obviously played against him in Europe, even in a EuroLeague final, and I'm curious about how it is to play now with him, with the Mavs. I mean, it's going to be great. You know, he's an amazing player. Uh, he's a great person, you know. We uh, connect from the first moment, you know. I know Europeans connect better, but, you know, he's a, a good person for the locker room. And you saw today, he was playing amazing basketball, and it's tough to play the first game with a new team, and he was playing great. All right. Melly getting his feet wet tonight. Luca looking forward to more time with his new teammate. Up next on the docket, Coach, it is the Boston Celtics on Wednesday. We saw what went down the last time these two met. Uh, your thoughts on what's coming up? Well, they're, they're a little bit of an enigma to me. Uh, I have a lot of respect for that franchise. I think they would be the first to tell you that this season it just hasn't quite clicked thus far and no one really can put their finger on why. Uh, we hope that it continues that way for at least one more game. We had a great you know, battle with them last time without KP. We had a big lead late in the game. They came back, made it close. Luca hit the two daggers. So it, it should be a very good, uh, well fought game. And I think it's a good preparation game from us going for us going forward. Yeah, I agree with Coach Jenny. You don't really look at the record because it's confusing because they're a better team mm -hmm. than their record. Now you have to go play it out on the floor, but that's the way I felt about New Orleans, and that's the way I felt about Indiana. Those teams are better than what their records were and their circumstances that go into it. But I don't look at the roster Boston has in, in any way exhale. I mean, you got to look at that like you're going up against the best teams in the league because their talent is immense, but if the Mavericks play the way that they've been playing when they have their full roster of guys and there's no reason not to expect to be able to go into Boston and get a road win. They lost tonight to the Pelicans. Uh, Pell's rolling right now but uh, Boston could not find a way to get over the hump. Evan Fournier, one of their newest, mm -hmm. had an offer, I believe oh, wow. from the field tonight in his debut. Be interesting to see how he's going to fit into the mix. Yeah and I think you know a lot of Mav fans watch that because they've always heard his name attached mm. to Dallas as someone that the Mavericks have been interested in but he is in Boston. And he needs to be shut down. <laughs> he does, doesn't he, Coach? He sure does. I mean, he <laughs> could score. I, I don't really love that he didn't hit a shot tonight because of the law of averages, but hopefully he's just not comfortable. And he, again, he's not comfortable for one more game because he can flat out score. You knew damage in his time in, in Orlando. So hopefully he's not, he's not in sync with them for one more game. Coach, fantastic work. We'll see you back with us on Friday. Look forward to it. And Skin, you as well. You'll be back this weekend. Yes. Can't wait for that. We've got Brian Damaris and All Devin right. Harris on Wednesday. Uh, it's the law firm of Damaris and Harris. Oh, I'll let them us. handle me and some of my real reckless yeah. cases. <laughs> Call them. Yeah. They're standing by right now <laughs> as we speak. That'll be coming up on Wednesday. As we close out tonight's show, however, this is the final broadcast under the banner 
of Fox Sports. Uh, Fox Sports has been more than just a name for our network. It has represented a unique sports identity with an attitude in presenting the Mavericks throughout this century. We thank Fox Sports and its leaders, past and present, for their guidance and for laying the groundwork for our success over so many years. Now we look ahead to a fresh start and a brand new name. On Wednesday, we will bring you Mavs basketball on Bally Sports. Good night, everyone. Dominate, dominate, dominate.